probably for as long as people have been here, there have been puffins here in Maine. The state's puffin population is strong, according to researchers with the Audubon Seabird Institute in Bremen. Don Lyons is the director of conservation science at the Institute. He says 25 researchers spent months studying the small birds on seven different islands off the coast of Maine and tracking their diets, growth and nesting habitats. Uh, when they're able to find enough food, it's a really good indication that the health of our oceans is strong. In some recent years, we've seen puffins struggle to raise chicks, struggle to find enough food, and that's pretty tightly linked to warm ocean waters, uh, what we call marine heat waves. Uh, and that uh, can be directly tied back to climate change. Lyons says the birds eat a lot of different fish, and this year they feasted on Atlantic herring. Puffins are great little research teams. They go out into the ocean multiple times a day, uh, and the fish they bring back to feed their chicks uh, is a great data source. This is the second year Allison Ballard of Washington has spent the summer in Maine researching puffins. You really learn to be kind of one with your island and you're up when the birds are up and you're really doing things when the birds are doing things. Ballard says she feels incredibly lucky to be involved in the conservation of Maine's wildlife. To be a biologist and to be out there and to be really contributing to the science with such a long data set, um, you really see the impact that you're making with the birds. In Bremen, I'm Jody Hersey for ABC 7 and Fox 22 News.